Must be Julia. Hi, Mr. Wells. It's really nice to finally meet you. You can call me Sam. Sam, got it. Um, that's actually my dog's name back home, so it shouldn't be too hard to remember. Okay. I'll show you in. Right. Thanks. My dog's name really? It's stupid. So this is it. 100% fully furnished, just like in the pictures. It's even better than the pictures. Yeah, everything is completely clean, 100% sterilized. So we've got the living room, uh, dining room, kitchen, a nice Florida room. You smoke? Oh, um, no, no, sir. Good, it's a nasty habit. Oh, I know, so gross. A habit I can't seem to break. Oh, um, sure, I didn't the know. House. So this here is your you know, office or extra room. And this is the bedroom. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. You have any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, then I will let you get settled then. Oh, trash. It's picked up every Tuesday and Thursday. There's a trash can on the side of the house that you can use. And uh, if you need anything or have any questions, just you know, give me a call. Yeah, thanks, totally, I will. Are you there? I'm here. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. I seriously hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And the beach is only like 10 minutes away. You suck. But seriously, I'm really happy for you. Oh, hey, um, I gotta go. Someone's at the door. Hi, Dad. Dad, I'm fine. I literally got here like 10 minutes ago. Yes, I love it. And yes, he seemed very nice.
Hey guys, sorry I haven't been on the past few days. I've been kind of busy. I was actually waiting to break the news. I just didn't want to have all the sappy goodbyes, you know, but um, I officially have moved to Florida and I'm in my new house. I really like it here so far, actually. It's been really nice. And I'm only like five minutes away from the beach, which is amazing. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those Salt Life stickers. It's like a thing down here. I guess it means you're a true Floridian because I see it on every other car. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, um, I'll just keep you guys updated, hopefully. I'm still trying to get settled in and everything down here, but miss you guys already. Love you.
Sam. It's Julia. Julia Fields. Um, I'm sorry. I really don't mean to be a pain already, but I heard this scratching sound coming from the ceiling. I think it might be like a squirrel or raccoon or something. I don't really know, but if you could just give me a call back when you get this, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Check out this view. It's so beautiful here. Hot as hell, but beautiful. <sighs> so far, I really like it here. I think the move was a good idea. I kind of just needed a change of scenery. You guys know that this past year has been a little tough for me with the breakup and all, but I really think this is a good idea for me. I'm excited to see what Florida has to offer me. I'm gonna kind of just focus on the big things, the important things going to do my own thing. Maybe I'll start meditating, who knows. Anyways, I really miss you guys already. See you soon. Hello? Hello? Hey. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just me. You scared me half to death. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to. You left me a message earlier saying you're hearing noises up in the ceiling. Right. Yeah, uh, it was it was just a scratching sound. Yeah, well, I, I went up there to look, and I didn't see anything, no rodents or anything like that. So I'll just, you know, I'll bring traps by tomorrow, see if we can catch something. Oh, yeah, okay, okay that sounds good. Okay, hey, don't worry. We're going to take care of everything. Hmm? Okay, Thank, thanks, Sam. Yep. Oh, uh, Sam, wait. Hmm. How did you get in here? I could have sworn I locked the door before I left. Oh, you did. I had an extra key. You do? This is your first time renting, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know where you lived before, but here in the state of Florida, landlords are allowed to enter the premises at any time that has to do with damage or inspection. Oh, yeah, of course, I understand, but um, I just, I didn't know you could come in like that is all. Welcome to the real world, honey. See you tomorrow.
got to be kidding me. Sorry, I haven't been on the past few days. I've been kind of busy. I was actually waiting to break the news. I just didn't want to have all the sappy goodbyes, you know, but um, I officially have moved to Florida and I'm in my new house. I really like it here so far, actually. It's been really nice. And I'm only like five minutes away from the beach, which is amazing. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those Salt Life stickers. It's like a thing down here. I guess it means you're a true Floridian because I see it on every other car. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, um... I'll just keep you guys updated, hopefully. I'm still trying to get settled in and everything down here, but miss you guys already. Love you. It's amazing. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those Salt Life stickers. It's like a thing down here. I guess it means you're a true Floridian because I see it on every other car. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, um, I'll just keep you guys updated, hopefully. I'm still trying to get settled in and everything down here, but... <laughs> You really think I'm being paranoid? I know you're being paranoid. Okay, it's your first time in a new house. You're just getting used to it, that's all. But what about the door opening? Julia, I have a door at my house that does the same exact thing every time the AC turns on. And you didn't like see the outline of a person standing there? <laughs> no, not at all. Your mind's just playing tricks on you. <laughs> My mind's playing tricks on me. Great. Well, listen, babe. I gotta go finish getting ready. I have a date with Nick tonight, so um, call me tomorrow, okay? Okay. Love you too. Bye. Oh, shit. My mind played tricks on me. It's nothing. It's nothing. I'm fine.
Oh, hey, Sam. Sorry it took me so long. Sam? Sam, is everything okay? <laughs> Good morning. Did I catch you at a bad time? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, um, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I'm just waking up. Uh, I just came by to set the traps in the ceiling for you, unless you want to come back at another time. No, no, it's, it's fine, you can come in. So, have you heard anything else going on in here? What do you mean? In the ceiling? Have you been hearing things still? Oh, um, yeah, it's coming from right over here. So what did you say it sounded like again? Uh, it was like a scratching sound. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me, just one second. Tom, I was actually just about to call you. I'm almost finished. Okay, I understand. Yeah, but I told Christy I would need a little more time with it since I was moving and all. Of course. Yeah, I understand. I can have it to you by the end of the day. By five. Will do. Did you see anything? Nope. But... I did put a trap up there, so we'll see if we can catch something. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, that's, that's really it. All right, then. Actually, Sam, um, this is kind of a weird question, but um, have any of the previous tenants ever mentioned seeing things in here? Seeing things? Or like doors opening or anything like that? No. Your mind's playing tricks on you, huh? What did you say? Your mind is playing tricks on you. It happens to me all the time. Well, I'll be on my way then. you doing? Are you at the beach living your best life or what? Ugh, I wish. Not today. I'm late on a draft for my boss and he's all up my ass about it. Hey, listen, um, do you remember yesterday when we were talking and you said that thing about my mind playing tricks on me? What? You know, yesterday when I was telling you all that stuff that's been happening and you just said that it was my mind playing tricks on me? Oh, right. Why? Well, today, my landlord, Sam, came over and he said the exact same thing, like, word for word. Do you think it's just a coincidence? What do you mean? I mean, isn't it kind of weird that he would say the same thing? Why is it so weird? Because, like, what if he's listening to me or watching me or something? Jesus, Julia, you are being, like, really paranoid. Can I just be honest with you about something? I really do don't think you're ready to be living all alone right now. Oh, shut up. I'm not being paranoid. Am I being paranoid? Yes, you're being ridiculous, okay? Listen, why don't you take a break for an hour, go to the beach, relax. I can't, I really have to get this draft in by five. Don't stress yourself out, okay? An hour won't kill you. I don't know. You need a boyfriend or something. No, I don't. Listen, how about I come over for a few days? You know, you're all alone and everything, and I'm sure you could use the company. Really? You would do that? You kidding me? <laughs> Go to the beach, work on my tan. Oh, and of course, see you. Ha ha, really funny. Isn't it your birthday next week? What are you gonna be, 27, 28? I'll be 22. 
a hard 22. Shut up. You really don't mind coming though? Like, for real? Not at all. It'll be fun. I love you, Sarah. You're such a good friend. I know. And a modest one at that. I know, right? Well, listen, I gotta get this shit done before my boss. I know, I know. All up in your ass. Exactly. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. I've been watching you. Oh, sorry, did you say something? So do you like balloons? Do I like balloons? I mean, who doesn't like balloons, right? No, do balloons make you happy? I'm sorry, can I help you? I want you to have this balloon. I, I, which one's your favorite color? Oh. I have colors. No, it's okay, I'm good. Thanks, though. I want you to have this balloon. You really don't look happy. I'm happy, but really, it's fine. Thanks. You look like you need some company. Maybe, maybe a boyfriend. Listen, I actually have a boyfriend, so. No, you don't. What? I don't ever see you here with him. What are you talking about? No, you're so pretty. You need. A, you should have a boyfriend. I was actually just about to leave, so. Do you want the balloon? I want you to take the balloon. I know you're not happy. It's a car. You know, these, uh, these little cars are always overheating, so. Is it? Now what? Just... Should I wait a couple minutes? I don't know, the party. Uh, just, just a couple minutes. Um, I got an idea of what we could do while we're, while we're waiting. Oh, yeah, what's that?
Hey, I hope I'm not bothering you. I just wanted to come by and check to see if you've been hearing the noises in the ceiling still. Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. Not last night anyway. Oh, all right, good. Hey, do you want me to come in and check the traps and see if we caught anything? Um, not right now. It's kind of a bad time. Um, would you mind coming back a little later? Oh, yeah, hey, sure. No, no problem. Uh, everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just, um, I didn't really sleep well last night. Oh, yeah, I know all about that. It sometimes takes me hours to sleep, if I go to sleep at all. I think it's the, my mind, you know, it just it keeps racing racing and thought after thought. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like a curse, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I'll, I'll see you later then. Yeah, good. Okay. Never call me this early. Are you still sleeping? Mm-hmm. Do you think you could come here a little bit sooner? Mm-hmm. Sarah. What? Wake up. No. When can you come over? I thought we said next week. Yeah, but can you come sooner? Why? Just can you? I guess I could come over on Friday or something after work. Yeah, okay, Fr Friday's good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm probably just homesick or something. I didn't even tell you about the weirdo from the beach yesterday. Okay, well, can you tell me about him later? Because I need like an hour more of sleep. Okay, but um, I'll see you Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, but will you leave me a key or something? Because I just don't know what time I'll get there that day. Okay, yeah, um, I'll text you and let you know where I put it.
hell is this? Hey Sam, this is Julia. Um, I just got home and there was this eviction notice taped to my door. If you could just call me back as soon as possible and let me know what's going on, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, bye. Hey, I got your message. Must be some kind of mistake. Can I see the notice? Um, yeah. Come, come on in. Okay. Found notice, judgment, says, current, you know what, this is a mistake. Look, I'll call first thing in the morning. We're gonna take it care of, okay? Uh, have you been hearing any noises in the ceiling still? Um, no, not recently. Oh, well, yeah, maybe you caught something. Yeah, I go up and take a look. Oh, um, I have some work to get done, though, so... Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, you know, I'll, okay. I'll let you get to it. Okay. Hey, Dad. Yeah, I'm good. I'm sure, just really busy right now. All done. Hey, let me call you back. Love you too. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, did you catch anything? No, the trap was empty, and I didn't see anything, so I'm just gonna leave it and check tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's you know, really all I can do. Mm -hmm. So, I'll let you get back to work then, all right? Oh, okay, um, I'll walk you out. Oh, it's okay, I know where the door is. Oh, okay then. Um, thanks, Sam. Yeah, no problem. I'll lock it up too. Right. Thanks. Sam? Sam? Hey, I got your message. Must be some kind of mistake. Can I see the notice? Uh, didn't you already Grab it. What? I just thought you... Uh, yeah, you come in. I, I could have sworn I saw you put this in your pocket. What do you mean? I, I just thought you already had it. Yeah, don't worry about this. Uh, this is a mistake. I will call first thing in the morning and get this taken care of, okay? Hmm. So have you been hearing noises in the ceiling still? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit confused. How so? You already checked. You said there wasn't anything in there. Are you okay? 
You weren't here like five minutes ago? No, I was here earlier this morning. You told me it was a bad time and to come back later. I feel like I'm losing my mind. What's going on? Well, I haven't really been sleeping well and to be honest, I've been kind of freaked out lately. Mm -hmm. Some guy followed me home the other day and with that and the move, I've just been really stressed out. Yeah, you look tired. Hmm. You know, my wife has trouble sleeping and she takes, it's a natural supplement pill, what's it called? Uh, serotonin or something? Melatonin? Yeah, melatonin. That's it. You should take that. She swears by it. Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and take a look at that trap, see if we caught something. I think we caught something. Oh yeah, yeah, we caught something. Oh, huh. there's your culprit right there.
You have got to be kidding me. Sam, it's Julia. Um, I just got another notice on the door, so if you could just please call me back. Um, I'd also like to find out if you called the bank and what the outcome was. I'm not really sure why I'd be getting another notice like this, so just please call me back. Bye. Hi, yes, uh, my name is Julia Fields. Um, I'm calling because yesterday I received a, an eviction notice on my door and it was supposedly by mistake, but I just got another one today. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, uh, all right, thank you, you too. Okay, bye. Can I have the notice, please? Yeah, sure, let me go grab it. So, uh, what did they say when you called? What? Uh, the bank, what did they say? Oh, they just said it was some clerical error. That's probably what this is too. It's nothing for you to worry about. Oh, okay. Um, how did you get here so fast? What? I just called you. You called me at 10 a.m. this morning? Right, and it's only... Right, look, I really need to get going. Uh, wait. Before you got here, I, um, I called the bank. What? What did they tell you? Uh, they just said they'd have someone call me back. Why did you do that? You're not the homeowner. It's not your responsibility. I was just trying to help, and I figured Didn't that... I tell you I would take care of it? Yes, but... But nothing. Now listen to me. When they call you back, don't talk to them. This is a private matter and I will handle it. Do you understand me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, or yes? Yes, yes. Local man Sam Wells murders his family and kills himself. Official reports state that Sam Wells kept his son locked inside the small space in the ceiling where he was found dead. Oh my god. Police say Sam Wells lived inside the house with the dead bodies of his wife and child for nearly a month before taking his own life. This isn't real. This is not real. This isn't real. This isn't real.
Could die. 